welcome 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 please let me know your name and where you're joining from your name and where you're joining from okay welcome welcome your name and where you're joining from welcome everyone welcome everyone So, if someone can also type the topic for me, let's talk about sex. Let's talk about sex. Just type it for me, please. Let's talk about sex, baby. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Hey. <laughs> Hi, Thelma from Oweri. Welcome. How is Oweri tonight? Emo state people, you people are my in laws. How are you doing? Okay, welcome. Mkem Obuako. Obuako. Mkem Obuako. Nice to meet you, sir. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. Nobody's typing. Let's talk about sex for me. Kilo de. Are you guys shy? Hi, Mira from Asaba. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. So come on with your sex questions. Come on with your sex questions. Any questions on sex? Remember we did that yesterday. For those of you who were here yesterday. So let's talk about sex. Let's talk about sex. Um welcome i've seen all of you welcome welcome oh i did tell her hi welcome welcome okay so um i received a message to, to today like ar around noon time hi where is it welcome did i miss it somebody's sending me a private message and i can't see what you're telling me can't see it though i can't see it send it again send it again please send it again okay so ask me any question today tonight and i will answer okay any question on intimacy and sex or majorly on sex so somebody sent me a question today um, a man and I have his permission to share um, his problem is weak erection and usually there are so many factors around or uh, that would have that would cause weak erection for man so that's what we normally call erectile dysfunction why is this thing popping up here like what's going on why do you want to embarrass me on my life i have international people watching me here too <laughs> okay so this is what we call erectile dysfunction right the inability to hold erection for long okay and um so one of the things that we normally do is to ask questions find out why is it a psychological thing is it something that's always been there if not when did it start you know were they um did you start taking any medication at some point welcome welcome yusuf samira i see you let me know where you're joining from okay your name and where you're joining so i get to know i like to you know know my people in as much as possible okay so it's either you're on some sort of medication or you've done any um surgery you know like there are different there are different factors okay and so having gone through all of these things the first thing that i normally suggest to anyone who comes to me with erectile dysfunction is to go see a medical doctor because i'm not a doctor i'm a clinical sexologist um so there's a limit to what i can do when it has to do with medical but he says he's done all of that um you know if i want to speak to his doctor you know he's fine medically bottom line okay you're joining from the uk good to have you here 
Women Health Africa. Hi, Ujuma from Abuja. Abuja people should be sending me DMs. Let's see if we can host something soon. So we're planning to have like a sensual club for women once a month. Physical class, sensual, you know, we hold hands, we dance, erotic dance, or, you know, like sexy movements. We eat, we drink, we have fun, take lovely pictures, you know, and go back home and go do some stuff to our husbands, right? And then plan for the next month. So send me a DM if that's something you're interested in, okay? Now, um, this man says he doesn't have any issues, according to his doctors. Um, he's fine. He was enjoying sex. He could hold um, an erection for a while, but now he's not able to. You know, so um, when I started asking questions, you know, like probing further, it turns out that, you know, he, he it's it's basically psychological, really, um, because no medications, he didn't really change anything, but he's been having a lot of stress at work, you know, and stress at home and stuff like that. Now, there are two things. It's either he's going to learn to, so in case you know anybody or you are also watching and you know any, or you are going through this issue or you know anyone who's going through this issue, you know exactly. Okay, so Jane, send me a DM, okay? Send me a DM. You know exactly what to do. First things first, if you are experiencing erectile dysfunction, you need to see your medical practitioner first. You don't need a sex coach first. You don't need a sex therapist or a clinical sexologist first. You need to see a doctor. And when you're cleared of any medical condition, then we can now start working on whether this is psychological, whether you need to go um, to do some you know, therapy, some meditations. Maybe you need to ease off on some stress, you know, and do something differently and stuff like that. Now, and these are the things that I said to him, okay? So you would either need to do that, and there's also the possibility of inculcating like a toy, what we call the ring, okay? The, yeah, the, the penis ring, okay? So that actually just helps you hold erection longer because this is beginning to affect his marriage. His wife is beginning to complain, you know, and stuff like that. So I decided to share this tonight because I know that a lot of men actually, because, you know, men don't like to talk about these things, but there's help. There's help. Honestly, there's help, right? So he and I, um, okay, I think Ujuma is sending me a message. So he and I are actually in talks, okay? We're going to have private sessions plus his wife, because at some point he's going to need his wife to also help him. First of all, she even needs, she needs to understand that, you know, this, this, um, can eventually change. They can get back to what it used to be. Okay. So it's easier for me when I'm, when I have to coach or counsel both parties, it's easier for me and it's easier for them also to get quick results. Now, if you're here, and you have or your husband has or you know somebody who has erectile dysfunction like i said the first thing is to see a doctor and please if you have any sexual problem um, or, or se sex related questions you can also leave it in the comment section or send it to me directly use the question mark um sign and send it to me i'll see it personally nobody else can see it okay so you can use that button in front of you now you either go see a doctor if they cleared you and there's nothing there you know it's psychological and you can get help and you can also inculcate the ring i'm trying to but like it's not just ring it's called something else but i don't know if you guys know what it is um I wish I could ask any of my colleagues now, but it's a small ring that the man wears and turns on and it vibrates, it vibrates. So there are different types of it. It vibrates, it gives him um, harder erection, helps him stay longer while he's also trying other therapies that can also help him. And it also stimulates his wife's clitoris. So it's a win-win for both of them, right? So it's something that is very healthy for those of you who don't even want to consider toys. Remember that these are aids, especially for um people who really really need it if you don't need it maybe not but if you really really need them get the ones that are healthy not the perverse ones um you know as the case may be okay so um i decided to put it here because i know a lot of people and some people also have the uh, the problem of too too um they, like they can they can hold an erection for too long they're not able to ejaculate they're not able to 
um, you know, like ejaculate basically. And so they want help as to how do I do this? How can this, you know, um, how can you help me do this? So there's so many things that can hinder one from truly, truly enjoying sex with their husband or with their wives. Okay. So we're going to be talking a lot about the sexual part. I know I've been talking about the relationship part, the love, you know, the romance and stuff like that, the intimacy part. But every once in a while, I'm going to just throw out a Q&A on sex. Let's talk about sex. You know, let's normalize talking about sex, especially in a marriage setting, so that people who have problems or have challenges are, you know, um, empowered enough and encouraged enough to speak out and get help, get the help that they need. Okay. Hi, I see you. I see you. I see you. Um cock ring yes that's it thank you somebody sent it to me privately it's called a cock ring so it's a penis ring i like to say penis rather than cock okay i don't have any problem saying it personally like when i'm just sitting with my friend or like i'm in, in in the midst of my fellow sexologist or what have you but when i'm teaching publicly um because this is professional for me this is a professional job okay i like to stay professional i like to stay with the biological names now when you want to get nasty with your spouse and all of that you can go all cock and pussy and what have you but you know on my page we like to keep it clean so that we don't um, drive away the people who really need the information that um, we have to offer. So there you go, talking about erectile dysfunction. Now there are newer stuff. So I think that next month I'm going to bring my professor to um, the Bedroom Matters Stripe to talk to the men and to give us like there are so many easier ways of also treating erectile dysfunctions um, right now right there's so many so many and so um i'm working with her to get some things out so that we all can enjoy this information some of these things you don't really need to go to the hospital you don't really need to have um several sessions with me to get the help that you need right some some of them you're just going to go buy something and just use and you're good so you're still um you still protect this information you still protect yourself protect your family protect the information you know like this is not the things i want to be sharing with um so many people out there right so expect a lot of good things coming from me soon okay there's a question here um she says i constantly experience dryness of the vagina and sex becomes painful what can i do first and foremost right first of all how old are you um if you're younger than 40 then maybe we need to find out like why this is is this natural to you uh, are you to taking you know um are you eating healthy and stuff like that but if you're premenopausal or you're you're approaching menopause or stuff like that you know like the the vagina skin I hope i'm getting the words right begin to thin out you know like we age like we age right so these things will also age now that said there is an easier way that is why you need lubricant i cannot overemphasize the importance of lubrication in our houses as a married couple you should have a bottle at the least have a bottle one bottle okay for you who especially for the woman really you know um sex is painful because it's not lubricated it's not well lubricated i'm going to get bruised and sex won't be enjoyable it won't be pleasurable and both of you are going to have issues okay now that said there are also natural herbs that you can use i was trying to talk about some of them yesterday there's the maca mm -hmm. there's the fenugreek there there's um the gorontula there's the um there's the sugar sugar what is it called now it's made from sugar cane basically some of these things you can take them yesterday we also talked about um uh what's it called what is this thing called with yogurt and uh shoot i can't believe that i can't remember the name aya kunwaya what is it called tiger nut yes tiger nut drinks some people take it and they are really really wet really really wet now um you know with ky jelly some people have issues with ky jelly i don't know but that's like the most popular one that's why sexologists like us need to actually do the right ones especially for nigerians that we can use but ky jelly is like the most popular one what i would recommend is make sure you're getting water-based lubricants okay water-based lubricants hi zilla rocks long time 
get water-based lubricant now there are also silicone based lubricants i don't know how many of those we have in nigeria and i would always advise you all to please do the ones without fragrance the ones that don't have all of those um different flavors you know like edible flavors um please just do the crystal clear one i know some people like to use coconut oil if it works for you fantastic you know but please get water-based lubricants clear water-based lubricants clear okay no too many drama no too many drama please let's help ourselves um i'm seeing two questions but then it's not showing up and I don't want to tap them. If I tap it, people will see the name. So give me a minute. Yes, I am married, happily married, nine years and counting, and blessed with four kids. So yes, I'm married. Thank you. Okay. Um, should I tell the mom or talk to him? Okay, so there's a question before that. Please, ma, how do I handle this? My sister's son is just 12. And I saw him. Ah, the question is long. I can't finish reading it. I can't finish reading it. But are you saying that you saw him wanking? Did you did you see him uh, masturbating? He's twelve. Did you see him masturbating? If you could reply so that I can quickly talk about it. So somebody sent in a private message, a private question. You can send in a private question. I hope you know how to do that. There is a question mark sign on your screen click on it you text you send me a message i'm the only one that can see it okay so we can maintain um anonymous um you know questions we, we keep you anonymous basically so that we're not going to tap on with this english um i'm still waiting for that question i think you try to send it but still not showing up why i don't want to click on the question otherwise it will come up okay watching porn you caught him watching porn do you know the funny thing my husband and i had this conversation i think yesterday or two days ago about you know um how early it is for kids to actually be exposed to stuff you know first of all you need to understand that every child will have like a natural um sexual feeling even if they don't know exactly what it is that they're feeling now i'm going to ask a question to all of you here there are about 20 something of you watching live right when was the first time you were first exposed to porn whether it was watching it in the movie or those magazine remember those days those magazine or the cdr or is it cdr or vcr or something right vcr i think when was the first time you were exposed to whether you just stumbled upon it or you you were curious you saw it somewhere and you wanted to watch or you got the magazine or you stole it from someone or you just stumbled upon it or somebody actually showed it to you if we're being honest with ourselves right we understand or we we'll know that we a lot of us were also exposed to porn like really early in our lives it's even worse now so a lot of parents are living in denial we're living in denial like our kids don't know this stuff you know but the earlier we start talking to them about these things the better okay so you saw your sister's son watching porn what happened i saw him watching it on his phone okay and he's 12 if i'm correct yes you said 12 now the first thing is to have this have a conversation with him at 12 years old he has a gadget to himself that gadget has to be um, placed under parental control like he shouldn't have access to porn my kids all have their tablets my kids my five-year-old up to the nine-year-old they have their, their their tabs as i'm talking to you their tabs are in front of me everybody's tab is in front of me they are in bed i know what they're watching per time plus there are parental um apps or parental whatever i think it's an application that you use to lock it so even if you know these people are trying to target children that thing blocks any pop-up that will come for them so as parents we must be very observant you can't be too busy with your children and buy them gadget and just give it to them so that they have their time and have your time you are destroying them now coming to this question you saw this child watching porn what did you do did you get let him know that you saw him did he know that you saw him if yes what transpired after then did you talk about it 
Okay, so there are more questions. Well, let me just let me just take this as much as I can. Hey, mama, my boss is here. A eh, fine woman, Angelo Matil, till till. Welcome, mommy's boo. Welcome. Now you have a child who has watched porn, right? What do you do as the uncle? I think that the first thing is to talk to him. It's not an opportunity to beat or to scold or to, you know, yell. You need to speak to that child. He's 12. He's been watching it. He has that phone. So he has access. He has access. These things are very easy. Even when you're not looking for it, he's looking for our children. I don't know if you've ever experienced watching something and then things are popping up. Even though you did not click on anything, now there are targeted spywares that are looking for children like they can tell that these are children and the children will see some ads that are sexual in nature that if you as an adult pick up that phone and start watching to see that pop up it will not pop up for you it won't pop up to an adult it is targeted at children it's why parents need to be careful we need to screen what they're watching you need to have conversations with these children otherwise you're living in denial now I would suggest that you have a talk with this child and you owe it to this child's mother your sister to tell her but please prepare her it is not the time to now hit him beat him curse him out and then start firing prayer the easiest thing to do the best way to win this boy over to get him to be open enough to even share like where he even got it from how he got exposed to it is to start having a conversation sit him down okay i know what you did you know it's wrong so let's have a conversation i'm not here to beat you i'm not here to yell at you or anything but i just want us to talk like how does it make you feel you need to have it it's, it's an uncomfortable conversation but you need to have that conversation let me share a story with you um two years ago my daughter who is nine now was seven at the time mentioned something sexual that somebody had done somebody had lifted her cloth up and you know and i froze now for those of you who know you know i was raped at age seven from age seven to ten and so this happened to my child at age seven i'm like oh oh my goodness like this is history repeating itself again i was going to get into panic attack but my husband just gave me a sign nope 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 at least in our case she came to tell us it wasn't like we found out or anything she came to tell us and so my husband just gave me son and i understood so i was sitting there my sister-in-law was sitting there and my husband when she came in to tell us and so my husband gave me the sign and I understood so he hugged her and said thank you for telling me i'll call you back in a few minutes okay go and play with your siblings and my husband had to talk and said what was i going to do to start screaming or yelling am i all right you know it's it's it's, it's easier said than done if that hadn't happened to me i'd probably just be speaking off the top of my head oh just have the conversation but it's not easy to have that conversation so if you need to prep her prep her if you need to also get a professional to show you how to go about these are professionals and i think these are kind of, kind of the kinds of things that we should start talking also about on this on this platform i'm going to get parenting coaches to tell us how to actually have these sexual conversations with our children right um i have um parenting support system i have the baby lounge i think there are so many i'm going to reach out to these people as well so stay locked here i'm getting a lot of guests so that we can have like back-to-back -back daily information that will help us and help our children as well so please tell your sister but let her not prep her let her not be quick to judge if you also want to introduce me to her introduce me to her but i'm not going to take her through the route i'm going to introduce her to somebody who is going to help her through the process okay or you can go look look out for the parenting support system on instagram i might also post after this and tag her on this on this video as well okay so it's really heart-wrenching it's painful it's not something that we all wish but it happens we're going to have to learn to start having conversations like this have conversations around lgbtq yes because if you don't somebody's going to have the conversation with your children if you don't teach them the devil is going to teach them if you don't have conversations with them somebody's going to hear, give them those um, information so who do you want in your children's ears who do you want in your children's ears yes jess energizer is also another wonderful person that can do that okay so let me get into another question i hope that i answered your question king i hope i answered your question correctly if you need more clarity or you want me if, if there's something else you want to clarify because your questions are really long so i couldn't really read all of them just let me know somebody says hello sis i got married as a virgin so i don't really have any experience 
and then i couldn't see the rest of the question but she went on to say something something years now but i have never experienced orgasm i just fake it you need to stay close because we're working on um orgasm class so there's an orgasm class coming up very soon that you're just going to purchase and and watch at your own convenience okay now the problem usually with um virgins is that they're naive they don't know this and i think you should join the bedroom matters tribe as well because you're going to be getting a lot of information that are on plan that you could just be on one of the zoom classes and ask questions and you get the answers to your questions okay or you can also um book a private session a private one-on-one -on -one. so if you know you don't want to wait that long book a private one-on-one -on -one. but one thing i do want you to know is you need to stop faking it and you need to have a conversation with your husband you need to tell your husband to help you you don't know how to go around these things and you want to be the best wife to him you want to enjoy sex with him you know you don't want to break his heart but this is how you've been feeling because if you don't you're going to be resentful towards this man in the long run okay faking it has never helped anybody faking it doesn't help you it doesn't help your marriage and it doesn't help your husband too let me tell you sometimes the men know when you're faking it Sometimes, if you have a sensitive man, he knows when you're faking it. But again, he doesn't know how to have that conversation with you. So you might be shocked that when you bring up that um, topic, you see that he's not exactly shocked. You see that he's not ex exactly shocked. Okay, so um, try and have a conversation with him. You can send me a DM. We can talk about it later. But you need to join classes where you can learn how to let go, how to be free, how to start enjoying sex for yourself first. Okay. Somebody says, um, hello, please, I'm too tight in my head office. I always feel, <laughs> I always feel pain. I like how you, are, you described it. You always feel pain in your head office. What kind of pain? Is it during intercourse? Is it after intercourse? What kind of pain? Do you feel like your vagina is too small? Have you had a child before? So you see, some of these questions are not a one-size-fits-all. I need to investigate and know exactly what the problem is. So if it's during sex, you need to also see a doctor, know why that is happening, or after sex, know why that is happening. So if you follow my page, if you're not one of the new ones, last year I also mentioned that I've been having painful sex for a while. In my own case, I've done scan. We've gone to the hospital. They've prescribed different stuff for me. It didn't stop. It didn't work. You know, until late last year, when I told my husband, "Come, what? Let's go to my gynae. Did my gynae that you know um, help me with um, the the delivery of my babies? Let's go to him." And I went to him, showed him the scan, and he was like, "You know, you have some sort of cyst there, but it's not exactly like something. It's not. It's benign. I think that's the word. Like it's not." Um, it's not life-threatening, but of course it's painful. So let me just prescribe a tablet for you. I'm like, ah, tablet again. But of course I trust him because, ah, Dr. Bakut, and I have to bring him on this platform. He's not a techie person. He's not social media savvy at all, but I need to bring Dr. Bakut. He saw that scan. He recommended, he said, by the time you take your second dose, you'll be fine. Guess what? By the time I took my second dose, I was fine. I was fine. Till today till today so i need to know what kind of pain how do you feel that pain is it just on your as as he's entering or while he's going the thrust is going in and in and out of you what kind of pain because the pains determine what exactly is wrong with you so i think that the first thing is for you to go to, to your hospital or go to like echo scan and run a test but you know speak to your gynecologist every woman should have a gynecologist and every woman should Try and do certain medical checkups every year. Your pap smear, extremely important for you to do so that you can detect certain cancers that you can take care of early stage. Women, let's start take care, taking care of ourselves. Leave the bone straight. Make sure that you're fine inside, okay? Leave the bone straight. Leave the tummy tuck and the liposuctions. Take care of the inside first before you start taking care of the outside. I hope that um, somebody get, gained something from this. Any other question? Any other question, people? If you have any question, let me know. Can you all hear me? It feels like I'm talking to myself. I'm not seeing any comments anymore. I'm not seeing the hearts. Any questions? Can you all see, still hear me? Can you all still hear me? Yeah, there's a lot of different possibilities. Absolutely. Thank you, Arista, to 1993. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions? Question or questions? If not, can we call it a night? Can we call it a night? Hey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So, ah, 
happened? Stephanie is here. Yes, you came late. Oh, you joined late. Oh, but the replay will be there. Don't worry. I try to make this short so that people can just watch it at their spare time. So that everyday people are here. Hi, good evening. Yes, you're late. But it's a short class. I actually started at 10 30. Um when you say not yet, not yet to what now? I've been saying plenty things. I don't know which one. <laughs> Your attention is divided now. Why is that? Why is it divided? Tell me why is your attention divided? Oh, thank you. You'll be making me blush every time. <laughs> Let me see. I've got one more question here. It says, Where is it? Why is the question? It's still loading. Is it still loading? I can't see your question. There's a question that just not yet to, i should not sign out <laughs> people don't let me don't want me to go and sleep <laughs> please let me go and sleep oh mm. um yeah <clears throat> okay she says yes pain during intercourse when he's thrusting in and out so i think that the first thing you should do is to go and see your gynecologist to roll out anything whether you have any infection or you have a cyst you know or maybe it's something around your pelvic so just go see your doctor that's the first thing okay until your doctor rules out any medical challenge i may not be able to give you any solution to that challenge right now okay queen so go see your doctor tomorrow next tomorrow don't let it go beyond next tomorrow i know that me i know here what the coconut head did not let me go early my sister that is a nurse kept telling me go and run tests go and do this go and do that this thing that is wrong go and check I just be roughing the thing because me, I too like ministration. I like ministration. I like to receive and to give, you know. After I finish giving, I'm not being pains. So I had to take care of me, okay? So please go to the hospital first and let me know how it goes, okay? Send me a DM after you've seen your doctor. Let me know how it goes. I'd like to make sure that, you know, I see this through with you, all right? Um, that's my date of birth small boy like me which one is a date of birth biko which one is a date of birth let me know i'm talking with my elder brother and younger sister on my other phone ah. bros go and talk to your family family is more important when you finish your come and watch replay <laughs> when you finish come and watch replay okay people thank you all so much for being here thank you for being here every single night every single night thank you i don't take it for granted at all at all at all at all thank you i'll see you all again tomorrow is somebody taking picture is anybody taking picture am i fine this night <laughs> My vain self is out. Anyways, thank you all so much for joining. Oh, there's another question. Hey, okay. Let's see if I can take this question. There's a question. It's gone. There's a question here, um, but I can't see it. I don't know why. Is this a network thing? Is this how it works? I don't know who sent the last question now, but if you can send it to me, privately and i'll see what i can do uh i can't see this is the same one yes pain during intercourse when he's trusting though no child yet there's another question but i can't see it okay i'm sorry i can't see it god bless you too <laughs> you have to tag on my hand dude. thank you boss i appreciate you Thank you, Adetola. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can I invite you to a gathering of married friends and you talk this? Oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Eh? Where have you been? People invite me to talk about these things to different groups. A lot of the groups I don't post because they're private groups. But yeah, I go speak to groups and sometimes I do them virtually as well. And I don't do them for free, by the way. Please. This is my full-time job. I hope you understand. I hope you understand. But yes, I do teach groups of people, um, both home and abroad, both home and abroad. I do virtually 
um, a lot of abroad talks I do them virtually apart from like the one I just recently got back from but yes I do teach a group of people and people actually pay um group of friends come together to pay for like my revamp challenge 21 days revamp challenge they don't want to do it with the public they don't want to do it with other people so they just want me to do for them so those kinds of things I don't advertise them you know um I don't talk about them because they are private group I think I need to start putting information like this that oh you can actually get me to teach your private group this and this and this and have like that kind of package so I think I would work on that thank you so much for that reminder that just dropped my husband here yeah, don't fool bedroom matters talk every day oh thank you <laughs> my husband is lucky i'll be me too i'm lucky you guys don't know that i'm even the lucky one here my spouse doesn't like foreplay okay so let's talk about foreplay tomorrow let's talk about foreplay tomorrow okay because there there's some misconceptions about foreplay um so when i say my husband is the lucky one when i first got married my husband was not lucky i was punching the guy anytime he tries to touch me you know so because i had some unresolved issues from my past sex wasn't pleasurable for me i was constantly fighting it and when i wasn't fighting it, i was faking it you know but he stuck with me went through therapy with me went through all the classes with me and i'm talking for the first four years first four years so my husband is actually a patient man i'm the lucky one um i'm based in abuja i'm based in abuja let me I'm in the Buja based. Um, but let me ask you, why doesn't she like foreplay? Why doesn't she like foreplay? How do you charge though? Maybe send you a DM. Yes, please send a DM. Cecilia, were you in US or another country to speak? No, I was in Congo. I was in Congo, just um Congo Kinshasa here. Yeah, and it was amazing. It was supposed to be a four-day trip. They kept me for 10 days. Oh, my God. I was like, you guys, please let me go home. But I had fun. You know, I had fun. Ended up talking to different classes of people and then the singles as well because we understand that some of these problems stem from when you're single. So we help them also navigate, answer questions. And we're going back again in June. So, yeah. I just came back from Congo yes somebody says please once again what is the water-based oil one can buy water-based lubricants the popular the most popular ones are are what well, the most popular one is ky jelly but let me not let the cut out of the bag or be the cut out of the bag right let me not we need to start investing in lubricant and um just expect bedroom matters lubricant coming out soon Don't tell anybody yet. <laughs> okay. Um, Aye wo. Hey, sorry, oh please, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to mother your name. What what's the question? You said really? What's the question? What is the question? None, none, no questions. Are we good for the night? Are we good for the night? I need to quickly go. I have a video to record tonight. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, people, thank you so much for being here. If you haven't purchased the Couples Conversation game cards, please send me a DM. Oh my God, somebody wanted to purchase that today and I completely forgot. Um, couples got game card is 15,000. It helps you and your couple, your, you and your spouse know each other better. It helps you to spice things up. It's a great way to have, date, you know, date night with your, with your spouse and um, they help you okay um what was i saying the couple's game cards right it helps you to have conversations around romance intimacy sex those questions that you ordinarily cannot ask your spouse that's what the card is here for so we have in english it's now been translated into french as well and we have some countries currently requesting the french speaking cards um so that's such a humbling a humbling um you know accomplishment um somebody says we're so proud of you me and my girlfriend 
um even if we're not yet having sex waiting until marriage god bless you and i know you bought um some of the books for me thank you for planning and waiting for the right time god bless you and you will reap the harvest you see you get this information you keep them for the right time god will honor you because you've kept yourself and god will definitely definitely bless you as well okay and bless your girlfriend and wife to be and please let me know what you want to propose let's see if we can give you some one or two ideas or tips on how to make it very special for you and for her most importantly some men use spit yes some men use spit the downside to that is if you have an infection in your teeth or your gum and you spit into her vagina you're going to cause her more harm than good and the reason is because there are some bacteria that are here that has no business going down there and when you introduce that bacteria in there you are opening her up for infection okay so while saliva is good make sure you don't have any gum infection or any pain or anything like that okay so it's best to buy lubrication it's best to buy lubricant. Have it handy. So during, I don't even like the whole. It sounds nasty. <laughs> but yeah, you can if you're healthy, if you don't have any gum issues. But please, I will always, always recommend lubricant. Thank you all so much. God bless you. God bless your home. If you if you couldn't make it to Bedroom Matters try this month, stay on the lookout. If I click on link in my bio to join the waiting list for may cohorts okay click on the link in my bio to join the may waiting list um that said thank you thank you thank you somebody says you kiss any yeah you're ki if you're kissing it's mouth to mouth understand what i mean the bacteria here shouldn't find their way down there everything is where they're supposed to be that's how god created us do you understand yes you kiss but when you kiss, it's here. You're not introducing anything extra into your mouth or to your gum or down here. And let me tell you, if you have any infection in your mouth and you 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 take in a semen that is infected, you're going to even cause more harm to yourself. Do you understand? So I'm saying that if you're not healthy, don't use saliva on your wife. Your wife, if your husband is not healthy up here, Again, there are some men that you have to beg to brush. You beg a man to be brushing like you're begging a child. If he's not constantly brushing and he's not clean there, please don't let him introduce saliva to your vagina because you're the one that will bear the brunt. You're the one that will get infected. You're the one that will be crying. You're the one that will have smelly um, punani down there and he will now be giving you attitude. Meanwhile, Nain caused the problem in the first place. Okay, I'm not trying to cause issues between you, but I'm just saying, let's be mindful and please take care of your hygiene. If you cannot put your hands in your mouth and eat with your hands, please don't put that hand in a woman's vagina. Women, if your husband's hands are not clean, don't let him insert it into your vagina because it's going to definitely introduce um, something that would, you know, bounce off the pH um, level of your vagina, okay? Okay, thank you. I'm seeing that you're satisfied with my response. Yeah. Thank you so much. Remember that this is a no judgment zone. I'm never here to bash anybody. I'm never here to put anybody down. I'm here to educate, to give you permission to love yourself, to love your body, to enjoy intimacy and enjoy sexual intimacy with your husband, with your wife, not with another person's daughter or son that you're not married to. As far as Cecilia is concerned, I'm Christian. Premarital sex is a no-no for me. And beyond just being a Christian, there are scientific reasons why you shouldn't be having premarital sex, okay? So if you're a single person here, learn for the future. If you're a married person here, be open enough to enjoy intimacy with your spouse because God created sex and sex is beautiful and sex is to be enjoyed by everyone. So I don't want to continue this my sermon. I'll see you all tomorrow again at 10 or 10.30. But you all should know that if you don't see me at 10, just stick around. Know that by higher is 10.30. And if I'm not going to make it, I'll also do a post to that effect. Okay? Thank you so much. Have a good night rest. Queens, go and jump your husbands. Husbands, go and be kissing and be doing lollipitings with your wives. Okay? And I'm going to teach tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to talk about foreplay. So we have a topic for tomorrow. We're going to talk about foreplay. Alright? Have a good night rest, everyone. Good night.